good morning everyone and welcome to our next video. We are on the move and headed to Katera for a night. Um, the reason now that we stopped on there last year, um, we're going to go out on the bikes aren't we? Yeah. So we had to be off that air at 10am so we've both been up early. We did go to bed fairly early for us um, and I took two strong painkillers, knew it would make me sleep because I've not been sleeping very well and then they started work on the bloody train track at like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, got woke up at 1am. Uh, so I'm still pretty tired but hey ho, carry on with the day shall we. Shooting me with words but I won't let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look We've arrived at the air um, There's quite a lot of spaces on here Which there wasn't when we came last year But they have a market on a Tuesday So we think it gets busy on a Monday And it's Sunday today So we are going to have a cup of tea Get the bikes down And go for a ride on the bikes, I think Aren't we? We are. We are. We are, yeah. I can't find my next place. That's all I'm looking at. Oh. Yeah, so, with this air, we came on here last year, as I said. It's six euros for 24 hours for two people. Um, and that's with electric included. A lot of the electric points are very far away from the pitches, so you will need an extra long lead. Um, we're lucky because ours is just there. and We've run the short lead, but the last time we only had the short lead because the long lead set on fire and we couldn't hardly get any anywhere near any electric posts could we no but we don't need electric we don't we just plugged in try and charge camera batteries and stuff yeah, just, they take forever yeah and, pull the fridge on and, and, and gas. we've paid for it so yeah we might as well <laughs> might as well have it five of quid yeah, £5.16 I think it worked out um, the, if you do come the machine's a bit of a pain so there is a machine and a barrier just as you come up to the air and you have to select everything before you can enter and then you scan your little barcode to get in and out so don't lose that um, but there's no flag for English so I just selected us as being French because it was the closest to England <laughs> it doesn't seem to care but you have to select how many um, hours you want um, how many people you've got in the van and your nationality and then pay and then you'll get your ticket and it isn't the one with the QR code it's the one with the barcode so I remember being quite confused about it last year but I, I managed to get there this year on my own <laughs> so yeah we'll pick you back up when we get the bikes down and we go for an explore on the bikes for those of you who wonder what the dogs like to do and why we don't take them with us when we go out on the bikes and I've got a trailer this is Daisy's favourite thing in the world isn't it Sprawled out and she was snoring a minute ago till I got up and him. Are you okay there, Douglas? <laughs> They're both old now, so all they like to do is go out for a little pee and a sniff and come back, have something to eat, and then do that for hours, even when we're in the van. Jesus! <laughs> I'm <stuck>. <laughs> <laughs>
going down to the beach. That wasn't the easiest bike ride in the world, was it? No, definitely not. Mountain biking a little bit. It's a good job we got fat tires. I got stuck a few times. I'll see how well it picked it up on the camera because the camera slipped down when I nearly fell off. <laughs> You need to speed up. Well, I just dug in. I would have gone straight over the handlebars yeah, if it was going it fast. Just, it just glides over. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't, I don't believe you. You just want to see me fall off. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I think we're in that direction, aren't we? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in my mouth. Yeah, we're going to so. head back to where we come from because there is a nice seafront down at Katera. Um, that's where we went last time, so we, and we didn't have very good weather last time, so we'll go and have a look down there again, I think. Cause I don't care about you anymore So you can't hurt me like you did before We stopped for a waffle and a drink, because Apparently it's the best waffles beach bar, so... I can see why. Yeah. Some nice waffles there. So we want to say a big massive thank you for um, Vanish 6616 for our super thanks. We are treating ourselves to some waffles and some drinks. <laughs> Not really a meal, but... <laughs> but that money, that super thanks, will also pay for a meal. Yeah, time, it will out so here. Cheap. Yeah, it's cheap out here. So we'll get a meal as well. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much. It's so, so <laughs> kind and we really much. appreciate it. So we'll show you what our waffles look like when they get here because the ones that are coming out look nice. Well, our waffles are here. I shall show you. They're huge. That one's mine. <laughs> that monster Stevens. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> We're back at the van. We uh, never picked the camera up after our waffles because we were a bit full and then we just cycled back to the van to the air um so we're not doing much tonight it's cooling down quite quick isn't it it is i was just thinking that myself yeah i might shut the vents in a minute i'm just warming the water so i can have a shower and we are off here tomorrow i think we've got 24 hours from when we clocked in which would have been about half 10 so we're gonna have to be on the move early again in the morning um we have an idea where we're going not sure if we can get on the air that we're going to but we're going to give it a go so we'll probably pick you back up story of our lives we're in a queue for the service point <laughs> so we have a team to do with it yeah so we are on the move today and um, we're hoping to get on an air that our friends are on but space is rare so we just have to get there and see if we can get on and then we're just going to go from there aren't we we, do, we don't yeah. really know what we're going to do um we've got some loose plans if it doesn't pan out but we'll just have to see it's all we can do proper winging it today aren't we Proper wing in it. Proper wing in it. Proper. So um, we'll get serviced and get on the road and take the bus.
we managed to get on this air um, that is by the river. You can probably see that river there is the one that separates Spain and Portugal. So that on the other side there is Spain. So we're stopping here for one night um, for definite. There is a laundrette just over there as well. So I'm going to go and check that out in a minute because I've got another bag of laundry again. But it's just, it's not much. It's not much to look at. It's by the river. Is it? No. Five euros. All the places we can get in. All the places we can get in. Five euros you no, pay no. when you leave and you have to pay a one euro tourist tax. <laughs> so it's six euros. Oh well. Oh well. But we're on and we've got somewhere. The uh, service point, as you can see, is fenced off, which isn't great. Because they even run over our bucket. <laughs> So we'll see what we can do with that one. We're just gonna go out for a little walk and see what's around. Um, but before we do, we've got a massive thank you for buying me a coffee to Amy and Paul, Mrs. Welsh. Thank you so much, it was very kind. We didn't mind doing what we did and you didn't no. need to send us that, but we are gonna have a nice meal out, probably when we get back into Spain. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> so, tomorrow, yeah, but thank you so much. You're both so kind, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much, both. <laughs> Moving over to the laundrette and it's eight euros for a 12 kilo wash, so we ain't doing any washing there. No. Not when we've been paying four or five euros. So, yeah, that's not happening. We'll wait till we get into Spain. <laughs> cool in shade. It's cool in the shade. Should we go back over into the sun? There's Marina over there. Yeah, I'm over there. <laughs> Gutted about Portugal. I was home for two weeks. Not, not to hang up my van keys and not move. Well... So I can have my holiday of driving and everything. It is what it is. And it's sad now. My holiday will be when I go to the campsite. We're going back into Spain tomorrow. I'm just trying to figure out where to head for. Yeah. Uh, there is no point in carrying on in Portugal because even that air uh, that is not pretty. Well, we're and right at the bottom end, we're right on the border. We're on the border. Of Spain. Yeah, I said that before. Yeah. Um, it's not pretty. That is fairly full. There's got to be. Well, it's two big car parts. Two big car parts, about three quarters full, I'd say. Probably 100 vans on there. And a lot of them have rocked up and they're doing long term because they're getting the washing delivered to them. Yeah, the woman come around with the laundry van before picking Let's it up. Cross over. <laughs> yeah, so. Plus, <laughs> fuel is dearer in Portugal. Fuel is a lot more expensive in Portugal. Well, I think that's about 65. Yeah. Like so, we're going for a little walk down Diesel by simples. the marina. Diesel what? Diesel Simples 165.9. What's Diesel Simples? Uh, basic diesel. <laughs> right. Not uh, like V Power special. Sort. Not special diesel. Yeah. This marine is pretty, I'll show you. So, like I said, this is the river and Spain is on the other side. So, Spain's over there, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Looking for the the bridge. the bridge. I don't think you can see the bridge from here. No, I don't think you can, but I don't think that it's over. No, I don't think I don't think it's as close as you think. You Is know. it not? No. It's a big river, I know that. What time's that? Three o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, so we've been on the road for quite a bit today, which we didn't intend. But there's nothing we can do. Four hours. Yeah. It was an hour to what the air uh, that we were trying to try and get on with our friends. We did look at a few of the park ups around there and other airs that we could possibly get on to stick around for a night, see if anyone left tomorrow, but it's just hard work, I isn't it? I've got motor home full. Yeah. All of them. Uh, just seen it on Facebook now in the Portugal Van Life group, Ohio. The park up there has probably 20 more vans than it should have on it. And the last time I read it was boggy because we've had quite a lot of rain. So I wouldn't fancy it. Judging by the amount of vans here, like if you speak to a few of them, they come back from the Algarve because you can't get in. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're heading back into Spain. We're thinking, Tarifa's a four hour drive from here. Stephen's thinking Tarifa. I need to sit down later. Yeah, we need to have a look really and decide what we're doing because if it is a four hour drive, we need to be on the road early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
not there's much to do there because it's just on the beach. It's just a beach but... park up, but it gets mm. full on there. And a lot of people, when we were there, were coming late at night and not able to get on. The problem is, though, because if people aren't coming back out of the Algarve into Spain and the heat, and the heat wave that we're due by tomorrow. Yeah, could be full as well. So we'll just have to see. That's all we can do. Oh, but at least with Spain, there's a lot more park ups that you can do, and the police don't really move you on unless you like really taking the mick. Portugal, the GNR are on it at the minute. Yeah. But everything I've read, they've just they've closed every park up that we've been on down. Well, two big park ups have been closed down. So. So that's about 200 bands. Mm, that means and they're 200. Getting, they're fining you if you are on there, so it just isn't worth it. You might as well pay your six euros and not get a 200 euro fine. <laughs> This is a lovely little town, um, Villa Real de Santo Antonio is where we are. But the town itself is really pretty, isn't it? Where they've got all the Portuguese pots here. <laughs> so the area itself isn't all that pretty, but the town's lovely. It's normally the way. The yeah, it's pretty, there's nothing around. It no, is. very true. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> the place is nice. Look, we've got our handmade pots and ceramics. What a lovely little spot. Loads of little um, shops here selling, what are they selling? Aprons and towels. You're taking your jumper off for you too, what? <laughs> oh, this is a nice chance find, wasn't it? It was. I'm happy now. <laughs> need a pint. <laughs> you need a pint. <laughs> you had a bad day. <laughs> We'll find somewhere to get him a pie and make him happy. If that will make him happy. 18 degrees. Oh, I forgot they do cork here. Everything's made out of cork, isn't it? I don't know. Is yeah, it? look. Ah, right. Ah, yes, I remember. Yeah, you're looking on fire, right? Oh, I was, yeah. Well, they've had a fair amount of rain. Look at all the brollies out for sale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to coin in. There's loads of shops down here and restaurants and bars, isn't there? Mm, there is. This is a nice Yeah, there's a lot. Com compared to when you look at the air, you think there's nothing there. No, you wouldn't think. off down a side street and there's all this. Another alley hop. <laughs> no. No. We've been in every bloody one in every bloody town, haven't we? We're all the same. <laughs> True. Well, you need some socks. No. No. <laughs> you do actually, because you're just throwing a pair away. Are you throwing them away? No, you put them in the washing basket, aren't you? Yeah. Put to your tiles here. They're pretty. Kettle stand and whatnot, ah, right, aren't yeah, we? Things We've decided to have milkshakes to cheer ourselves up, haven't we? We did indeed. Fairly cheap, it was nine euros for both of those, and they made for proper ice cream, so we're going to tuck in. It was a nice little walk into town, but we're going to head back to the van and get some planning done, aren't we? Yeah, let's yes. get our heads into it. Let's get our heads into gear. We're going to end this vlog here because we will be moving back into Spain tomorrow. We're thinking we're heading towards Seville. I'm going to be inland for a night a little bit, don't we? I think so, yeah. Still gutted about Portugal. 
Oh. Things don't always pan out the way you want I them know. to. I know. I wanted to uh, rock up somewhere, stay for a week or two, not move, not have to think about moving. You can do it in Spain. Just chill. Yeah, but where? That's the problem where. Don't know, we'll see. Just want a holiday myself. You've been on holiday for from driving. I've got over a thousand miles to drive back to France yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet, but I have. But I don't want to be driving every day and, and then doing that track. You know, you got no sympathy because you can't drive because you're a peasant. I can drive. I'm just not allowed to drive this van. You're a peasant with your peasant license. You know, that's the one job he does. Drive, and that's the one job he moans about all the time. It's all, all driving, all the miles. I'll drive. Don't you agree, people, that, you know, it'd be nice to have a, a week or so off, ten days, of not turning a wheel? Ten days? Yeah. We're bored. Well, I would just want some time off from driving. All I've done is drive. You had seven days in Benidorm, I didn't drive anywhere. No, but we had to go out vlogging all the time, so I didn't even get to chill. Fi oh, I just want a holiday. Fixer's on it again, so I'm going to oh. turn the camera off. <laughs> Put dressing on properly. Yeah, we're not moaning about Portugal. It, it is what it is. Uh, it's just, it's just busy. The, we noticed the whole of Spain was a lot more busy than this than this time last year. There's more. There's more than hundred vans on here. There's a lot of vans and around. Long term, because there's there's hook up boxes opposite, and they're all in yeah. hook up. Yeah, they are. There's a lot of full full timers probably there. And over and the other side. We, he was speaking to a guy in Tavira, and he's there from September apparently, right up until the spring. So you know, people come and stop for a long time. So then travellers like us that are in transit quite a lot can't really get a spot. No. That makes it difficult. You um, get there in September. I guess if you're the owner of the air, the guaranteed income is worth it, but... Yeah, yeah, I see the logic, because that RV, uh, uh, Algarve RV... Motorhome park, park, yeah. He, he's only really interested in... Long term. Long term, I couldn't remember the name. Yeah, sure the, when they're making like 12, 13 euros a night off us. 30 days, you get a disc. Well, look at the last year, we did 10 days, 11 days at Silk. 100 euros. 100 it euros. Yeah. We would have been more if we were <clears throat> not there that long. But it, that's how it works. Over, th over 90 days, it is peanuts to yeah. stay. It's too long to stop in one spot. It is, but these people do them. And yeah, that's not me. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to end this one here and pick you back up when we check over the border into Spain, more than likely. Yeah, that's tomorrow's job. Tomorrow's job, yes. Tomorrow's job. Um, so it's only... I've got an air marked out that's just below Seville. We probably... I don't know, we might... Apparently there is buses into Seville from this air. We'll just check it out and see what it's like. We may stop two nights and go into Seville. We don't know yet. But it that depends on the drive over, doesn't it? One hour, 45 minutes, it says. Yeah, but that's on Google Maps and it's not on our sat-nav that's got the motorhome dimensions in. So they always end up being a little bit longer. Um, it's a shame we're not stopping here another night, actually, because apparently you can get the ferry over to Ayamonte, which you can... So that's the white um, town that you can see across the river. It looks really pretty, uh, but yeah. It does, but we could drive to our Monty. We can't. Yeah, yeah, we can drive to our. Well, we probably can't get near it in a motorhome. We'll see. Uh, yes. No, but you can stay at the air, can't you? Marina. You can stay at the marina. We are headed to Seville, we think. So join in on the next vlog and find out where we do end up. Because <laughs> plans change quite a lot, don't they? Yeah. Well, it seems the best logical way to get round to be fair. We yeah, well to to get anywhere down towards Gibraltar, Tarifa, back onto the coast in that direction you've got to go up towards Seville and then drop back down again towards the coast. So it makes sense for us to head to somewhere Seville way and then it's decide just a straight line, then. Yeah, decide it's, where where we're going from there. That makes the I most I think from here to Benidorm is seven odd hours because it's straight line through Granada. Whereas if you went to Vera up and then to the uh, thing, it's over nine hours. So that that's the, the loose plan is we're kind of going to hop roughly back the way we've come, but stop at the spots that we haven't stopped at. And I'm brewing up, by the way. You are brewing up. Yeah. But I'm making tea. 
You're not, the oven's making tea. Well, I put the stuff in the oven and then I've got to make the hot dogs and the hot dog buns and all the rest of it. Yeah, you know, people say that there's we have tension on camera and we bicker a lot, but try living in a motorhome with him. Easy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you did it for a week, you would say that I needed a medal. I'm free for anyone to try. I'll get rid of her for a week. Why am I going for a week? Don't know. Be like a wife swap, I think. Why are me and Doc's going for a week? Somebody else's house. Mm. Why they'll come live with me for a week and then they'll go, I don't know what you're moaning about. What a perfect gentleman. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen somehow. I've seen him queuing out the door. <laughs> you will once this goes live there'll be loads of comments there i'm, I'm going for the week with him I'm telling you yeah you keep believing that mate well we'll prove it in the comments okay so we'll say thanks very much for watching everyone um yeah just join in the next one find out what we're up to and we'll pick you back up in spain see you later Bye bye <laughs>